Want to learn how to make your macro photography amazing? We are on the fourth video in this series of how to use on one photo raw for you macro photographers. Join me now as we work on photo raw and how to use mass quick and easy. If you haven't watched this series, please go down below, check out the links so you can join me step by step to make your macro photography absolutely amazing with this program. For the best advice on macro software and on On One Photo Raw, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a video every Tuesday and Thursday. I'm honored to have my images in a variety of magazines and on the cover of Outdoor Photographer. Now I mentor macro photographers to help them make world-class images that they're proud of. Okay, because we're macro photographers, we have small little intricate details most of the time when we're photographing. And so our images sometimes can be difficult to make mass, but I'm going to show you the steps of what a regular brush does, a perfect brush, and I'm going to share with you also color masking because that's my favorite when I need to mask. So please replay this video or save this video for future use because it's going to help you tremendously. Okay, you're probably saying, well, what does that all mean? Well, I'm going to share with you that right now. A mask, basically, we're going to, the easiest way I'm going to share a mask before we dive into the, all the other crazy is I'm going to go ahead and add a second layer here. Let me just share with you the effects. See, I made this copy of this, right? And within that, I have filters. I have a vignette, texture, and tone enhancer. And each one, see if you go like this, you'll see, there goes, there's the vignette. Do you see how this is white? That's called a mask. It's white because it's showing everything that this vignette has done to the image. Now, if I was to click on this mask and I was to invert it, it means turn it black. Now I've just put a masking tape over everything and I cannot see what I've done in this filter, the vignette filter, because I've masked it out. Okay, so that's what a mask is all about. You can go to each of these filters and you can manipulate each of the filters. I'm asking you to be adventurous and step out of the box. Once you've gotten the image kind of the way you like it and you're thinking, okay, I need to add a little more, I want to show you how to do this. We're going to add a filter just to share with you what it looks like in the back end. Let's add something kind of crazy just so you could see it. Let's do crazy glow. Orton's are pretty cool in macro. This is a dark Orton. So let's just, let's just do it because it's totally different, right? So now I have this Orton effect here. So again, if I go to this layer here, you see the Orton is not here, it's separate. So we've added this filter here. And the reason why this is so nice, again, I'm gonna say, because if you are playing with this, you have added a, a second layer so you can just ditch this if you don't like it. Or you could make several different layers of ideas because I like to have a variety of ideas as I'm working. And then you can turn off this and look at the before. You might have several different layers. You can just turn them off and on and work with them. Okay, so I'm going to manipulate only this layer, so I'm going to go to the mask that's on the layer. When I mask this, it's going to reveal what's underneath. So when I put black on this area right here, it's going to, again, I'll say it again, reveal what's underneath. Whereas if you mask down here in this area, it will not reveal what's underneath, what it will do is it will remove, if you put a black paint over it, it will remove the filter. So I hope that makes sense. Most of the time you will have a white mask 
and you'll want to paint out what you've done. So you can see here the opacity, the feather, the flow. Feather, which is how much it's going to spill outside the brush, meaning if you have a lot of feather, it's gonna spill a lot out. Or if you want it have no feather, you can see the brush is telling you right now this is gonna be a hard brush. You can see it's very hard. So the middle part, to show you the middle part, is the main part and it's feathering out around the sides. You can see it, that's what's so cool about On One. Now let me show you what opacity does. Let's just do a reset. Flow will put up to 100. We're gonna take it down to 50. So what that means is that as I'm brushing, it will only go 50%. So if you're a newbie, and you want to start off this way you can see I'm just going I haven't lift off the cursor and once I let go you can see right here it's gray it's only painted 50% where flow will put the opacity up where flow let's do 50 okay 50% and I'll go down below now I have 50% I and I'll go ahead and start going back and forth and I won't take my cursor off. And as I keep going, and I'll let go, see how this is black over here? One is gray and one is black. So that's the difference between flow. Flow is a little harder to learn, but once you learn it, you'll like it better. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to reset. I want to show you a great tool, which is right up here. It's called the perfect brush. Now, if I paint out and I spill over, you can see that it's going on to the background flower and I don't want that. I just want the water drops to be part of this mask. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Perfect Brush. I wanna share with you another tip. When you're using the perfect brush, and especially for macro photographers, I feel like it's so much easier if you go to the mask over here and go to the view mode, you can use red overlay. So when we start painting, we're going to be able to see the actual mask as I'm painting in. So let's just do this, get up a little closer. Ooh, view. Sorry. These colors are similar. So what this does is it pays attention to the difference of your tones and, and the colors. So the tone is like, here's a bright color and here's a darker color on this side. So now let's get off of the perfect brush and We'll just go ahead and start painting. Now you could take this red off, no problem. Just go to mask, view mode, and you can just do grayscale and see how it turns into the grayscale. You just wanna turn off the view. It's up to you on how you wanna do this. Okay, so now that we have the mask, there we go. We don't need to look at it anymore. So let's get it out. And there we go. Comment below on what you would like to learn more of in On One Photo Raw. Okay, so let's get into this image and I really wanna share with you the color mask. This is so, so important. I love the color mask for macro photographers. So I'm going to go ahead and add a second layer, a copy, yes. And within that layer, now I'm going to add a effect so i'm going to add color adjustment just make the hues just like really pretty saturation i love the saturation of the leaf i think i'll add another filter where i want dynamic let's check that out yeah that looks really cool so it's popping this so you can always do the before and after i like the way that's popping but I, I only want the leaf and maybe some of the other colors that go with the leaf to really pop so you see that. So the best way to do that is go in here. I've added these two filters. I'm on this layer. I'm just gonna go to the layer itself. I'm on the mask, I clicked on the mask, see? And now I'm gonna go to the color range right here, down here, color range. It's so awesome. So I'm gonna click on the color range. I'm gonna pick that picker right there 
and I'm going to go over here, you can see, and I'm going to pick a color that's within this leaf, and I want to play with the range. So let's bring it down. And again, the white is going to reveal this layer and the blacks are not. So let's go ahead and let's go, let's do view. Let's go to before, let's go to after. What I, it's picking up some of the background, but what I really want to do is get, let's go ahead and play with the range a little bit more. I'm looking at the leaf before, after, yes. Now, let's just say I don't want some of this area. All you have to do is we're on the mask, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it out. So this way I don't have this in the actual layer. My focus is the leaf. So you could see here if we view it, that's what I love to do is view it because then I can focus on where it really needs to go. Now I wanna give you another tip. As we get closer to the leaf or wherever you're messing with, I take my flow way down and there we go. So here's the before and here's the after and it's really made that leaf pop. Color range is awesome. Check out below where you can download my ultimate and essential macro photography toolkit. This is where you're going to get your hands on the top macro photography resources to make your images spectacular and also to create work faster without all the guesswork. If you like the video, how about a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Check out the playlist down below where I give you a bunch of fun different ways to photograph macro photography. And always remember that your thousand words does make a difference. Cheers.